Hey friends, what's up? It's April here. Today, I'm gonna tell you 10 reasons why Hufflepuffs rule. So I'm just getting really sick of people dissing Hufflepuff because it is such a great house and I am proud to be a part of Hufflepuff. There are a couple of BuzzFeed articles that I referred to for this video that are excellent, so I will link those down below. So firstly, let's just talk about the Hufflepuff traits. Dedication, hard work, fair play, patience, kindness, tolerance, unafraid of toil and loyalty. I mean, those are some of the best traits a person could have. Secondly, JK Rowling did once mention that Hufflepuff may just be her favourite house because of all that it stands for. Let's just talk about some notable Hufflepuffs. So firstly, we have Tonks, who is amazing. We have Cedric Diggory, who was just gorgeous and so brave. We have Newt Scamander, Newt Scamander, and Hannah Abbott, who married Neville Longbottom, hey? Hey. We're also known to be animal lovers and we connect on a deeper level with animals. The common room is right next to the kitchens. The common room is cosy, welcoming, sunny and earthy. The view from the windows is dandelions and rippling grass. After Gryffindor, Hufflepuff had the most people stick around to fight Voldy and the bad guys at the Battle of Hogwarts. Um, badgers. Badgers! I leave you with this quote from the Sorting Hat song. Said Slytherin will teach just those whose ancestry is purest. Said Ravenclaw will teach those whose intelligence is surest. Said Gryffindor will teach all those with brave deeds to the name. Said Hufflepuff, I'll teach the lot and treat them just the same. Inclusion for the win! Comment down below reasons why your house is awesome if you're not in Hufflepuff, and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Goodbye!